Lady Cakes, and I'm taking over the Sweeten cha channel today, live, making this beautiful bell cake. Sorry, I'm distracted because I was listening to Beauty and the Beast going in my head. Look at this gorgeous Disney Barbie cake, guys. Okay, A, have you ever had a Barbie cake? Leave me in the comments below. Um, or for a birthday party, where did you have this cool cake? Have you ever made one of these cakes? Because I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really, really easy and um, inspired by Beauty and the Beast coming out. So I decided to start off this cake as a bell cake. I mean, who is excited? Give me some likes and thumbs up if you're excited about Beauty and the Beast because I am and I love Disney. So um, I didn't have two bell dolls because that would be gluttonous or yeah look at this so i have frozen girl she's runner up you go what kind of barbie would you guys use leave me in the comments below yeah logan says her grandmother used to make these uh when she was a kid i loved them i know they're so fun they're perfect for birthday parties um i mean honestly it's so easy i have a kitchenaid bowl and we're going to layer up this cake inside the kitchenaid bowl and that's how you get her super cute round little ballroom dress. Elise says Ariel's her favorite. Ariel! You would use Ariel. I like it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make it. Who's excited? What's, what, where, yeah. are you, where are you guys watching from? We're here in Texas today. And um, yeah, just, you know, cakes. Been making lots of cakes lately. So, okay, let me show you how and what we're going on here. First off, starting with the KitchenAid bowl, I've lined it with saran wrap. Lots of saran wrap right inside. And then I've made three pre-made cakes. You can make cakes from scratch. You can make box cakes. It's your deal. I like box cakes for this because it's a lot of cakes. So, you know, less, less to do in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, your three cakes, I like to take one of the layers, or all three layers, but we're going to cut them in half. And I'm going to show you what I did here. Do 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 in my little video that I did earlier. So I'm cutting it right in half. And with the serrated knife, and we're going to be using three of the nine-inch round circles. So then I just stick it right inside my bowl. I've got the saran wrap right there. And then I just shove it right down into my bowl. And you can force it. You kind of want to push it all the way to the bottom. And then I've made pre-made uh, vanilla buttercream. And then took my other layer, put it on in there, buttercream. You're just layering it up. Just layering it up. And if your cake breaks, it's totally fine. See, that one broke. Just push it on down. Use your force and just smash it in there. So it'll take the shape of your bowl. Look at that. More buttercream. Another layer. More layers. And I'm just going to layer it up to the very, very top. And you don't have to use a KitchenAid bowl, right? You can no, use... you can totally find um, any kind of bowl. Anything that'll look like a dress. Exactly. A deep bowl is what I recommend. But... Yeah, so then we just stick that in the refrigerator and we let it harden up so we can just pop it right on out like this. Ta-da! <laughs> and I am going to use, move all the cellophane over. And I just use vanilla cake, guys. What kind of cake would you use? If you're using an aerial cake, maybe like red velvet, that'd be fun. So I've got a little cardboard, plop it over. Crystal says, Ilana of Avalor. That's her little girl who wants one for her birthday party. Ilana, so yes, this is perfect. Are you taking notes? She's going to really like it. All right, so as you can see, our cake is looking good. I recommend if you're going to use cakes um, or make cake, using a little Lazy Susan turntable helps a lot when decorating. Beverly says she makes these, but she bakes the sponge cake in a pudding basin. Oh, that's a good idea. Send pudding pictures. Basin. Yes, send us photos. Lovely Lady Cakes is what I'm called. Find me on Facebook and post your photo. Because I think that would be really cool. Um, yeah, so see how she's going to fit. And, um, yeah. What we're going to do is make a hole right on top so she can fit inside. So you can use a serrated knife, uh, a cookie cutter, like the perfect little circle of a cookie cutter. But if you don't have that, it's okay. So yeah, just all the way down. Tina says hi from Sweden. Hi, Tina. Have Jackie. you ever made a Disney cake before? A little Barbie cake. Jackie's blowing you a kiss. Hello. Kisses. I love it. All right, let me get a spoon. 
And then I've got me a trash can back here where all the bits are going. <laughs> yes. Let me get a spoon. Uh oh, angry faces. Why? I don't know. Because I'm destroying the cake. So yeah, I'm just going to make a nice little hole for her body to sit in. Look in there. It's dark. And you can see all the fun layers of different colors. And typically when I make these kind of cakes, see how crumbly it gets? Um, I would do a pre-ice, but today I'm just going to go for it when I start decorating. And I'll show you later. Okay, almost there. It's a battle of angry faces and hearts. So Why? I don't know what that means. You guys, <laughs> you got to destroy the cake a little bit so it looks pretty later. I promise you it goes from that to that. To that. That's what we're making, guys. Okay. So then... We have... Hannah's tuning in from South Africa. Hey, Anna? Hannah. Hannah, awesome. Terry's from Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach, I love Na it. Nah is from Germany. All right, all right, you guys. Thanks for watching. We're making this awesome Disney bell cake. Or today I'm using also any kind of Disney person, but... Or Barbie. Barbary. Any Barbie. My daughter loves Frozen. Okay, so then you want to protect your beautiful doll so your kids can play with it later. So I've just got some saran wrap. And it makes complete sense to cover up her dress because we don't want to get it dirty, right? So yeah, this is just a fun little trick. Keeping her all nice and clean. Do -do -do. Saran wrap. And then while you're decorating, I also like, well, look at her. She's got so many pieces. I think I'm going to have to put her cape up as well. I'm going to put her cape in her hair so we don't get any Barbie hairs while we're decorating. So yeah, just take the cape and her hair. And wrap Alex that says up. he's planning to make this cake using a Ken doll instead of Barbie for yes. his friend's birthday. He does drag. Oh, I love <laughs> Please it. Please send a photo. Please send us your photos. I love seeing them. And that would be awesome, a Ken doll. Yeah, you could do a Ken and a Ken doll. <laughs> like two. All right. So yeah, we just want to make sure that she is not going to get her hair. Julianne says, blue velvet would be so cool for Elsa. Oh, that would be amazing. That's a great idea. See, look, she's already got a hair right there. Ugh, who wants to eat a hair? All right. Come on, little girl. So, yeah, and then I'm going to just see how she's doing. Perfect. Ta-da! All right, so now let's decorate. You could pick any kind of colors. Um, as you can tell, first off, um, I've got blue for her dress and pink and white. I've got some fun decorations. And then my favorite part when decorating these bell cakes are all kinds of fun tips. Like you be the judge of how many different designs you want. And this, have you guys ever seen this? It's edible glitter. It's called disco dust. So we're going to sprinkle some of that fun glitter on her as well. All right. So first off. Let's cover her in blue. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, there's lots of little pieces of vanilla cake. So if you would like, I would recommend doing a thin layer of buttercream all around this guy and then sticking it in the refrigerator for like 20 to 30 minutes and see how some crumbs are coming off. This is called a crumb coat. So then, once it's refrigerated and kind of hardens up a little bit, you go to put your final buttercream on there, and none of the little um, cake, cake crumbs get in there. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? You guys going to make this fun Belle Disney Barbie cake? Whee! So yeah, I'm just decorating. It almost, you know, looks like a beehive. I've seen some people make these into little beehives. If you're a bee nut, <laughs> a nut. Naya says, I love you guys so much. I'm Mario. You hope you see this so you can get a shout out. <gasps> Hello, shout out. I love it. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Hey, Jinx. Thanks for watching, Jinx. <laughs> yeah. Hello from Saudi Arabia. Jackie says, nice. Hello, Jackie. Hello from Saudi Arabia. Whee. And Beverly says, hi from North Shield, UK. Hello, my goodness, so far, far and wide. We're here in Texas today. And if you guys are wondering, like, um, some specific directions on this cake, I do have it up, up on my website. It's called lovelyladycakes.com. And uh, we made...
make all kinds of desserts, don't we, honey? Yep. He gets to eat them. I make them. Or we give them to our daughter's daycare. Yes, lots of giving away. I guess they're going to really enjoy this one today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Nizus tuning in from Mexico. Hello. Puerto Rico is Yarlis. I think I said that right. I hope <laughs> I did. Tony's from Mississippi. Hey, Mississippi. Lisa says hi from New Zealand. And um, April says it's such a beautiful color. Cool. Yeah, it's a sky blue color. Um, and the more you add, it gets deeper. Like, her dress is really dark blue, but I kind of wanted to go that sky blue. Bethany says she's watching with her daughter, Ruby, from Plano, Texas. Hey, uh, that's awesome. That's not right too down, far from us. Right down the road. Cool. Okay. So, like I said, you could pre-ice this bad boy and then come back and decorate it. But I'm just going to go for it right now. I pray we don't get a lot of crumbs in there. <laughs> For what? the sake of our time, yes. we're, we're just jumping ahead. I mean, you didn't want me to have to make three bell cakes for today. I don't think they would fit in our <laughs> I don't think so either. You should have seen how tight it was in there. Wee! Elle kept saying, Elle want now. Elle's oh. our daughter, so she saw her toy yeah. in the cake, and she was kind of confused she yesterday. Had, she was like, Elle's toy. Until she tasted it, and she's like, oh, that tastes good. Yeah. It was so funny. So I'm uh, using an offset spatula. If you are going to be a cake person, you've got to get one of these. They help out so much. Um, and this turntable. I recommend it. I always say that I have a few favorite utensils in the kitchen. If you've watched before, do you guys remember what my favorite utensil is? Um, leave me in the comments below what's your favorite utensil. Do you like to bake? And if you're going to bake, you better leave me a photo. I want to see your photos. Cassandra says, hi from Quebec, Canada. You're doing awesome Hello. work. I like it. Thank you. Um, I'm not crazy. Hi, this is Jesse and Bobo from Dubai. Very nice. So sweet. Gloria says, great idea to make a beehive. Maybe I can also get a Winnie the Pooh to sit on top. Oh, my goodness. Great Perfect idea. idea. Yes, great idea. So, again, okay, so I've decorated the top. And, uh, you know, a little make peek through that's okay and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're actually going to do some fun decorating on top here. Zena says hi from Saudi Arabia, <gasps> Saudi Arabia and she's planning on making this cake for my daughter's birthday. I love <laughs> baking. Okay. Sorry our turntable almost knocked. Bell, don't go anywhere. Bell decided <laughs> to almost fall over guys. Maybe I'm going to move her because the table is moving. Just, or just put her on the ground. Right here. I'll put her right here. Okay. Um, Don't go anywhere, Rash says she just finished making cupcakes as w now, strawberry flavored. Oh, yum. I want strawberries. Can you send them to me? <laughs> okay. So, again, like I said, we're not going to make it perfect. Ta -da! For the sake of time. For the sake Normally of time. Normally, you would pre ice this, let it chill for what, three love... minutes or so? Yes, we, we would pre ice it, yes. Okay, and so next is the decorating part. And what I like to do is make, um, see it's on cardboard, and see how dirty it is? So now we're just going to take off the cardboard. If you're going to come over here, honey, I'm going to take the cardboard off on this side. So I just again have a serrated knife, and I just want to make a smooth circle. Aisha says, wow, this looks great. Love from Pakistan. We'll make this one for my Hello. Awesome. Yes. Make sure to send pictures. Make sure to send us photos. So, yeah, I'm just taking off the cardboard. So we have a nice, clean, perfect edge here. Come back. Get away from me. Come back. Yeah. My very first job out of culinary school was decorating cakes. And that was in 2006. Was that then? Oh my goodness. So I, I make cakes a lot, but not as much as I used to. Woo! Okay. Sorry. So we have this perfect clean edge. Uh, Carlotta, I think I'm sitting around. I apologize if I didn't. Love baking. My birthday's on Sunday, and I'm preparing a gender reveal party. Oh, exciting! Awesome. What do you think it's going to be? Tiffany says she's six months pregnant with her third little girl, and I need a baby shower cake idea. Can is, you help? This is perfect. Um, we had a baby shower gender cake as well. I turned it into like a little birdie cake because I thought birds were cute. But um, but yes, that's gonna be so much fun, you guys. Congratulations out there who are pregnant. 
Uh, Lena asks what? from Mississippi, or I'm sorry, from Canada. I have a question. Can I add glitter in the topping mixture before applying the topping over the cake? I wouldn't see why not. I think that's a great idea. It would give it a sparkly. <coughs> a real sparkly effect. I love it. Um, yeah, that disco glitter stuff, I love it. You can put it on fondant. Um, yeah, I don't see why you can't mix it up. Yeah, right? put it put it in some nice light pink or something cute. Okay, so again, now let's decorate. Um, you know, you be the judge of how artistic you'd like to get. But I'm thinking, let's see, I have a star tip here. So I think I'm just going to do like a star circle at the bottom so we don't see that. So yeah, let's just kind of do a fun little circle, circle. Judith Ilana says, hello from Frankfurt, Germany. Love your cakes. Hello. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, I'm Lovely Lady Cakes. We're always creating and making huge messes in the kitchen. Woo. That's what life's all about, right? Making huge messes. So yeah, I'm just going to pipe a little star tip all the way around just to give it like a border. Ta-da! Like her dress is poofy, right? A little frilly at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. What else can I do? I'm thinking her dress. I, I like to use little toothpicks to give me direction of what I want to do. I think I'm going to do like... Like a fun little design. I've got a piping bag and just put a little in here. So I'm thinking some cute little squiggly lines would be cute. Do, do, do. Yeah, you just says, ba uh, because baking is incomplete without creating a mess. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's always making a mess. Uh, where'd you get turning cake stand from? Michael's. I love Michael's. Uh, what are they Sir, called? Sir La Tab, this is a... Wait, what? They're called Lazy Susan. Oh, Lazy or... Susan. Oh, man, my husband's giving me tests. Yes, it's a Lazy Susan. I love those things. They have them uh, silver. I love them. And then the stand comes out so you can... Or the base comes out, yeah, and you can clean it a lot easier. Uh, Selena have... says, hi from Florida. I'm only 18. I love making desserts like cheesecake, cookie brownie cake with the cookie brownies. One, I had drawn Freddie Jazzbear from Five Nights at Freddy's oh my, that's awesome. for my brother's birthday. Cool. We've got a lot of creative viewers. That's awesome. Yes. You guys are rad. Let's see. Maybe we'll do another little section over here. Hmm. Like, uh, maybe just in the middle. Yeah, maybe what were our viewers like? What do you guys think we, we should do? We have pink here that we're going to use. We'll do four fun little squiggly line sections. So, yeah, and you can be the judge of what kind of fun things you can do. And use Pinterest as your guide if you guys need, like, inspiration. Pinterest is my favorite thing to use. Um, someone asked what the flavor of the cake is. and This we, is just vanilla. Just a vanilla box. But you can use, um, make it whatever you want, to be honest. Yeah, we were talking about if you had an aerial cake, you could use maybe a red velvet. Co you know what? Shh, Frozen Girl should have had a coconut. That would have been yummy. Or Moana. There you go, coconut. <laughs> so yeah, if you're just tuning in, we're making Disney cakes uh, for our Barbie. You know, they have pretty dresses, and we can be as creative as you want, especially, like, with your kiddos at home. Lucas says, I'm only 15, and for my sister's birthday, I made a giant heart cake for her. Really? Oh, very sweet. That's really sweet. Hearts are fun. The other day, I made a lamb, or, I mean, a bunny cake. Did you guys happen to see that one? That one was really fun. I think it would be perfect for Easter. Julian says, maybe some pink snowflakes or sparkle stars. Yes. On sparkle stars. Let's do some... Sparkle, maybe snowflakes. Let's see if it'll work. Da, look at that. She's got snowflakes in her dress. Lily says she might make this Elsa cake for her cousin's fourth birthday. Yes, guys. I'm loving that I'm inspiring you. 
Mariah says, an upside-down pineapple cake or shredded coconut would be lovely for Moana. Oh, that would be so good. You guys, I love that movie. How much How much do you love that movie? <laughs> Our daughter loves it quite yes, a lot. Yes, so I love the music. We hear the music a lot. But that would be delicious, that cake. Jeez. Little snowflakes for you guys. Bam. Oh, Shadi, uh, I think it's right. Should we go? I'm sorry I haven't seen your text, but keep them coming. We'll... We Ask do. any questions. I'm yes. trying to keep up with everything. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to play around with this tip. It's a... Where'd the little number go? 104. It looks like maybe we could do some fun up and down motions. Like, maybe... Let's see. Ashley asked if you make wedding cakes. And I can answer for you. I used to. She used to, but... Uh, we actually, Damon, my husband, who's on behind the camera here, he would help me out a lot, but we would drive in the car with the cakes, and I swear it made me so nervous, so we just quit making cakes, because driving in a car with a cake for someone's wedding made, stressed me out so much. Yeah. We drove to, where did we drive to? Malibu have, one day. You have bridezillas, and any, it's just not worth the time. But it was really fun. We did it for about three years. Uh, wedding cakes mm -hmm. and all kinds of fun desserts for weddings. Lily asked how many layers in the cake, and you used three cakes. I used cakes. three cakes, cut those in half, so two, four, six. Yeah. And that's just because you want it to be deep enough that our... Whoa. Will fit in there. Yes, exactly. So that's why you need oh, that many. Oh, thing came out. So yeah, I'm just doing this fun little squiggly line. It looks like, you know, ruffles in her dress, maybe. What do you guys think? Ooh. So I'm not very good at the left side. It drives me crazy. <laughs> You're right. I'm not as talented as I used to be. Woo. But yes, actually, one of my cakes for a wedding was in a magazine. It was a really beautiful cake. It was actually at Halle Berry's house in the Malibu Mountains. That was so long ago, too. All right. Shania says uh, she loves it. Thank you, guys. How many cake boxes were you, did you use? I used uh, three cake boxes, so I could get three, um, yeah, nine-inch rounds. Doo -doo -doo. And then I made my own fresh buttercream, which I have on my website. It's super easy. I recommend making buttercream um, or Italian buttercream. When you're trying to make these cakes, it's coming together like ruffles. Lisa's right. It's people tuning in are wondering who you're making, and it is. It's Elsa. It's Elsa, guys. Can you bring Can you bring her over real quick? Yes. Just so the people tuning in now can see. Let me get it. I was afraid we were gonna knock her over. Da -da -da -da. There you go. This is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. We were inspired by that movie coming out soon. Um, I have made one of these for a, a birthday party before, and it is such a hit with the kiddos. So I think if you were going to make something for your kids, this would be perfect. How do you know when the icing is thick enough to use without it running? Well, I like to use but, uh, buttercream. So you, my trick is to use really good butter, like the most expensive butter you see, and it has a lot of butter fat. Um, that's going to be the best it won't break uh when you're adding that powdered sugar sometimes you can see it like separating because the butter is not the greatest so if you're gonna make homemade buttercream use high quality butter um and then when you're at on my recipe i have a, a great recipe and it tells you pretty much it's a fail proof recipe every time it works out great so um i would use that she says oh my god that's so perfect bell cake great job have you ever done a Minnie mouse one Minnie mouse Actually, I've never done a Minnie Mouse, but that would be fun to explore. I've done a, um, what was it? Elmo. I did a little Elmo once. Elmo cake. Alessandra says, wow, I like your cakes. Hi from Italy. Thanks for watching. Thank you. I've done a wiener dog cake. Because <laughs> I love wiener dogs. Who doesn't love wiener dogs? So yeah, we're just doing a simple piping here with a fun little swirling motion to give it that fun effect of her um, ruffles in her dress. 
when she sings that song. Let it go. Sing it, honey. <laughs> no, thanks. Sure, <laughs> I, I didn't catch your comment earlier, so you have to ask again. I'm sorry. What did you say? What did she say? You keep missing her. My night standard sister made uh, thin this, made one like this last week. Cool. Um, again, if you want to just add some more effects, you could do like little dots with some other buttercream coming down the slide. And then maybe adding some cute decorations. That's green. We don't want green. Let's do yellow. Some fun little um, flowers. And I found these flowers. Where did I find these? Um, uh, I think you can get them at Target or... Found them at Walmart. We found them at Michaels. Walmart. It's, a, it's the Wilton brand. So you can find it at Michael's. Find all kinds of fun little edible decorations. Are you guys liking this? We wish you'd come over and eat it because I have two now. Yeah, we've had, um, some, let's see. Some mean faces. How no, they Estra, eat it. we have someone that asked, wish you were closer <laughs> to them so they could, uh, they need amazing wedding cakes. Yes. Where do you live? I can give you a, said, some advice. Because I'm not doing any more cakes. <laughs> okay, and then the top. Let's see, let's stick her in. Oh my goodness. Why did I choose a Barbie that has a cape? <laughs> it's just going to get all in there. I wish you could take the cape off. Well. Poor thing. Okay, her cape is going to be like a, a fun scarf. Right. Let it go. Okay, so let's stick her in there. Do, do, do. And... Again, this cake needs a little more height to come up to her. So I'm going to do like a fun... Um, kind of like what you did here? Yeah, like a little flower pattern. I've got two A Wilton tip in. <laughs> it's got a nice big round tip. And what are you laughing at? Someone said take the cape off, but I don't think you can. <laughs> I don't think I can. She's and then wearing, daughter will be very she's wearing upset. a scarf, guys. <laughs> so when you're making this, I like to just kind of... Squeeze out the buttercream and then push it towards like that. And we can make fun little daisy flowers almost. Do, do, do. The more squeeze and then just swoop it in. Do, do, do. Swoop. Um, someone asked how you make the flowers and we just bought them. Yes, I bought them from the store. The, the cake decorating. You could totally do that with some fondant if you'd like. And uh, make little flower petals and let them dry like that. And they're just like little candies, right? They're not. Yeah. Are they're they fondant? Little, they're, they're not fondant. Candies. No, it's not fondant. Yeah. Oh, right. I've got a bag of white. Oh, I used them all. Let's put some white in there. Uh-oh. Are you guys having fun? I've got extra uh, buttercream on the side. No pink, people are saying, but... No I, pink? I think it's a good little... Yellow probably would have been better. I just wanted a little extra color. Now we're going to do some white on top. And again, fresh buttercream. I love it. Oh, this has a star tip. That's okay. We can do something cool. And again, it's being an artist, you can do whatever you like. It's kind of like experiment. Have fun. You said it. We always have fun. I'm just trying to make it get up to her waist just a little bit. Mm. Yep. So it looks like she's... You should have used just another blue. The pink is upsetting people. Oh no, I'm sorry everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, we're going to add more, huh? Add more. And that cellophane is protecting her dress so my daughter won't get mad. <laughs> and then, yeah, try to just hide that a little bit. She's wearing a scarf, guys. She's so cold. <laughs> Put your arms down. Oh, yeah. Ta -da! She needs to be like, let it go. Oh, no! <laughs> there we go. Okay, little girl. 
Look at that. Ashley says she loves it even with the pink. So Thanks, thank guys. I am so happy. Uh, hope you enjoyed how to make these Disney cakes. Uh, little Barbie cakes. I had a lot of fun. I have a lot of cake and buttercream left over, so if you know me, come over. Okay? <laughs> we'll see you next time. I'll be back on Thursday, so I'm going to be getting you excited about St. Patty's Day by making shamrock cream puffs. Yes, and I'm making fresh pastry cream. So come back 2 p.m. Central Time uh, next Thursday. Find me on Snapchat. I'm Lovely Lady Cakes. Find me on Facebook. I'll answer any of your questions. And yay, have a great Thursday. Bye-bye.